A restaurant owner orders a replacement set of knives, forks, and spoons. The box arrives containing 40 utensils and weighing 141.3 ounces. Ignore the weight of the box. A knife, fork, and spoon weigh 3.9 ounces, 3.6 ounces, and 3.0 ounces, respectively. How many solutions are there for the number of knives, forks, and spoons in the box? Okay, that's a tough question, all right? How many solutions are there for the number of knives, forks, and spoons in the box? Um, really difficult question to answer um, without really getting your hands dirty, okay? So, you know, obviously, if you look at the question part, the sentence with the question mark in it, that gives away that we're finding knives, forks, and spoons, right? I've got three variables in this problem. I'm going to use K, F, and S for knives, forks, and spoons, okay? So if you go back and, and, and reread the problem with that in mind, that might help you come up with the equations, okay? So... When I see this sentence right here, the box arrives containing 40 utensils. That tells me an equation. Story problems contain this type of equation a lot. It's like the total number of items. There are 40 items in that box. So think about an equation for that. Okay, do you already know what I'm going to say? K plus F plus S equals 40. The number of knives plus the number of forks plus the number of spoons is equal to 40. So we keep reading and, you know, you see this ounces, 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 okay? You're probably going to put all those ounces in the same equation as well. So it says a knife, fork, and spoon weigh this and this and this respectively, and this is the total. So it's, it's really kind of the same type of equation. You've got three things adding up to a total. So I'm going to say 3.9K plus 3.6F plus 3S equals 141.3 ounces. Okay. Two things. Number one, this equation I just wrote down is in standard form almost. Um, in my other class, I'm teaching about standard form right now. You're not allowed to have decimals in standard form. So we might just replace that, multiply everything by 10, and that'll move the decimal over so we don't have decimals in it. Sometimes if you find like a calculator on the web that will do this for you, um, they don't like the decimals in there. They want it to be a, a nice integer numbers. So let's just multiply by 10 and change this to 39K plus 36F plus 30S equals 1,413. Some will tell you that that's not necessary to do, but I, I think it'll probably help us um, with our arithmetic and stuff to not have decimals in there. Okay, now... I've got three variables, but only two equations. That's a problem. And, and once you've seen enough of these kind of things, you already know that this is going to lead to a many solutions type of answer. Okay. You've got more variables than equations. We're not going to be able to solve it and find one solution. Okay. And that was, you know, that was already kind of hinted at in the question when it said how many solutions. We know there are multiple solutions here. That's what they're asking us, how many solutions are there? Okay, so we already kind of know it's many solutions. But let's get into this and let's try to do triangular form. All right, so um, your triangle would contain all three and then two. And then it would look something like this. Okay, normally there's another, there's another equation down here but we don't have to deal with that, I suppose, so maybe that's easy. But you can see that the only number outside of the triangle is this 39K. Using our echelon method, we're going to get rid of that 39K. So we need a rule that's going to get rid of 39K using this K that's inside the triangle. Can anyone think of that rule or a rule? 
Where you got? Uh, 39 minus, what is it? Parking ticket. Okay, 39 row ones minus row two. That ought to do it, because that'll be 39K minus 39K. Now, you might need a calculator here, because I, I 39 times 40, I'm gonna have to do 39 times 40 minus 1413. So be prepared with the calculators here, because I'm gonna ask about that here in a second, all right? I don't need to change the top row at all. K plus F plus S equals 40. But that bottom row, I'm gonna apply my rule. So I'd have 39K minus 39K is nothing. So, you know, you're not going to have anything in that spot. And then 39F minus 36F is going to be 3F. I can do that in my head. 39S minus 30S is going to be plus 9S. And then 39 times 40 minus 14, 13. Does anybody have that number? 147, 147. Okay, thank you. All right, cool. Now, um, you can't really do anything else with the triangle other than I can reduce that second, that bottom row if I want to. I can see, I know that all the three of those numbers are divisible by three. So I could divide that second row by three. I'm just going to write it right here because I'm running low on room. If I divide by three, I'd have F plus 3S equals 49. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. How in the world are we going to get a uh, solution out of this? Okay. So the answer is with something called a parameter. We want our solution to be the number of knives and forks and spoons. Okay. We've got an ordered triple, not an ordered pair. There's three of them. So it's going to be knives, forks, and spoons. But we'd rather only see one variable. Okay. And so what we're going to do is we're going to use the last variable as our parameter. Okay, that's typically what you do is use the last one. It doesn't have to be the last one, but usually that's what you do. So that's the variable that I want to see. I want you to write F in terms of S. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to solve over here. I'm going to, I'm going to isolate F. So subtract the 3S over and you would see that F equals 49 minus 3s. That's what I'm going to put right here. Okay, it's going to be 49 minus 3s. And I know that's confusing. Okay, I know that's confusing, but that's what we're going to do. And then I'm going to use back substitution. That's what I do in echelon method to find this k in terms of s. So I just found f was 49 minus 3s. So basically you're going to sub that in for that f right there. So if you think about it, you'd have k, I'm running really short on room here, k plus 49 minus 3s, plus we already had the s over here equals 40. These like terms make negative 2s. And I'm going to move things around. I'm going to add the 2s over, add the 2s over to the other side, and I'm going to subtract the 49 over to the other side. I'm kind of doing this in my, yes. That's not a plus 5, that's a plus s, remember, right? Yeah, sorry, my handwriting is kind of sloppy and I, I'm low on room. So let me go back here and make sure uh, we've got it. That is negative 3s plus s, which is negative 2s. I'm going to add 2s over to the other side, but I'm also going to subtract this 49 over to the other side. 
resulting in, let's say k equals 2s minus 9. 2s minus 9. I think I've got a problem here. Hang on a second. <laughs> Okay, okay, so if you plug that in right here, your ordered triple becomes 2s minus 9, comma, 49 minus 3s, comma, s. That is the representation of all of the possible solutions to this system to this problem, okay? But that's not the answer to the question because the question says, how many solutions are there? That's where the spreadsheet's gonna come in, okay? So this is not the answer. It might be the answer to a different question. If the question says, you know, give me the form of the solutions, this is how the solutions have to look, okay? Now, we're gonna go to the spreadsheet, okay? So I told you guys to open up a Google Sheet and you can call it parameter example if you want. And in the first three boxes, I would write knives, forks, and spoons. Okay, that's what we're talking about here. Let me make it bigger. Okay, so K, F, whoops. Knives, forks, and spoons. So go back and, you know, look at your solution. F was, or uh, K was 2S minus 9. So I'm just going to type that, 2S minus 9 and forks was 49 minus 3s and s was just s okay so i'm representing the all of the solutions using that okay but now i'm going to use the power of the spreadsheet okay because i'm going to um use formulas so how you use a formula i'm going to um okay look where i'm at Right here, this call or this this cell right here represents the number of spoons, right? And that's my parameter. So that's what I have to use. Okay. So watch this. I'm going to hit the equal sign. Okay. So the spreadsheet knows that you're talking about a formula. And my formula says two, and then multiply. So shift eight, two times. And then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna click on this cell over here that I want, my spoons cell. It's, what is that, C4 on mine? And then I will type minus nine, okay? All right, so if you hit enter, it says minus nine, but that's because right here in this cell, it's blank, so it's like zero spoons. If I change that to one spoon, it would change my formula, okay? So let's just leave it at zero spoons, okay? And now I'm going to use this spoon as my parameter to find the number of forks. So I'm gonna do the same thing and type in that equation. So equals 49 minus three times, and then I'm gonna hit that cell again. I wanna double click or click on that cell, just single click, sorry. Single click on that cell is C4 and hit enter, okay. So negative 9, comma, 49, comma, 0 is an ordered triple that has the desired form. Does anybody see anything wrong with this as a solution, though? Louder. 
you can't have negative nine knives. Okay. So watch what I'm going to do. Okay. Highlight, you know, click and hold down, drag over to highlight all three. Okay. You see this blue square down at the bottom and right? If you click on that and drag down, wait, no, no. I don't, I'm sorry. I don't think that'll work yet. I'm going to go one spoon, two spoons. And if I highlight that and drag down, it'll count for me. I mean, I guess you could just type in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Did you guys see what I did? I typed in a one and a two. And you could continue typing three, four, five, you know, as you go down, but you can automatically do it if you drag to highlight and then drag. Okay, so basically the, I'm going to do the same calculation for any number of knives, forks, and spoons, okay, or uh, using spoons as my parameter. So grab a hold of these two cells right here. So highlight them in blue. And then click that little blue rectangle and drag it down. Whoops. Oh, too far. Try that again. Okay, so check it out. I did it. I can drag it down even more. Okay. All right, so notice it repopulated with a whole bunch of different iterations whoa iterations of that solution set okay but notice these are no good because they all have negative numbers of knives okay right and then when you get down a certain level you know after here, these are going to be no good. Do you see why? Got a negative number of forks. And so there's only a limited number of solutions that are going to produce valid positive numbers for knives, forks, and spoons. Um, one thing you should notice is if you take this plus this plus this notice that equals 40 right add those things up add those three numbers up they always equal 40 that's what it had to do that was part of my that was part of my problem okay i don't really care about that though i care about how many go back and look at the question how many solutions are there okay how many solutions are there so can you count Right. You just count the number of rows here between 5 and 16. There are 12 of these things. Okay. 12 of these solutions. So finally, after all of that, we've got our answer, right? How many solutions? 12 solutions. We've done the hard part. Now, part B says find the solution with the smallest number of spoons. That's easy. What's the solution with the smallest number of spoons? Don't think too hard. Nope. Oh, row nine, yeah. Yeah, you're looking at this, right? Whoops, that's not what I meant to do. Right. Five spoons is the smallest number of spoons. So what's the solution? One comma, 34 comma, five, right? One knife, 34 forks, and five spoons. So you say one, 34, and five, or one knife, 34 forks, five spoons. Thank you.